Got a request for uh, some of the licks I'm using on some of the Benson stuff and uh, how I apply some of my shredder techniques in it. So uh, look at that first thing. Uh, just show a couple of accents I noticed that I thought were kind of cool. Instead of doing that whole step, do a half step. So it's from a D major, but I'm just raising that up a little bit. And then another riff I add right here is this kind of a uh, <clears throat> minor seven deal. And what I'm doing on the picking on that, I'm picking, hammering down, whoop, yeah, nice, <laughs> going down, down, up, pull off, up, pull off, down, here an octave higher it's going to change a little bit in shape due to the tuning of the B string that's going to be up a whole, or a half step nice same picking technique applies to that and then I do another one where I just do a E shape minor arpeggio and I slide up to what I would call a C shape minor arpeggio so I go something like that I think I do like almost like a major 7 there it would be the 4 if that was the 6 so I kind of add a little scale run there. And that works right around that Phrygian riff. It'd be like a F sharp Phrygian. So I do a. And I usually just kind of. And then sometimes I'll do like a and that's kind of a actually I got that I think from uh, Pantera Cowboys from Hell <laughs> So I'll do like a something like that similar I'm not really quite sure what I do I, I pretty much feel my way through that and a lot of times I don't even go up to the third note of the fridge and I just go so I go My pentatonic licks, a lot of times so I'm going to incorporate a three note per string, it's going to be two notes and then three notes, then two notes, then three notes per string. So in other words, if I'm on a B minor, I'm going to start on A, which would be the fifth of that key's major scale, and do a pattern similar to that, which would be just like a pentatonic uh, lead line. slide that or pick it when I play it I just do it so that's into 
combination of those things. So that's sort of my comfort zone if I'm in a minor key. I have my arpeggios outlining it from octave to octave. So. See what I mean? And then behind that is. And the scales that work around those arpeggios. Something like that, I'm just kind of incorporating a, just a little try out arpeggio. The picking on that, I'm usually doing an upstroke, pull off, hammer on. Sometimes I'll do an upstroke, pull off, upstroke, down, upstroke, and then down. I'll probably do an upstroke there and a down there, down. That's how I do it. So there's a real fast. So however fast you can do that smooth without tightening up your muscles is going to be how fast you can get that little riff to go. So yeah. Just moving through positions. second I'll move from a minor second to a major second when I'm doing pentatonic riffs I'm starting with a downstroke usually and then up on the next string if it's one note on one string it's down if it's two notes on the string it's up so even notes upstroke odd notes down three notes per string Start with a down so No little run I might try to I probably wouldn't use that, you know. Those are just like exercises or something. So all this has to... You know, it's just learning my shape. You don't have to do the whole arpeggio. You know, just try to get the parts that you want to work into whatever melody or whatever's going to move you into the position that you want to work out some kind of a, a hooker motif. Just look around those arpeggios. And just all kind of fits together, you know. Once you have one key, say if I have my major seven there. I know right where my minor is, you know. that'll kind of give you some insight to what I'm doing and how to incorporate a few shredder riffs you want to get some alternate picking going on you know obviously mm -hmm. down up down up down up down up down up down up <laughs> 